Watching the Florida State men's basketball team, one would expect to witness elite student athletes competing with intensity. Yet there's one player that towers above the rest. Jean Mark Chris Kumaji, a long name with an even larger frame. He's been a guy that's always been willing to put the time in and to, uh, and to try to add to his uh, talent ability to not just be a tall guy, to be a tall guy that can really play basketball. He has a great touch uh, for a guy his size. You know, his hook shot is great. His turnaround jump shot is great. Um, you know, he can score the ball from anywhere, you know, in that paint. Knowles with a nine-point advantage down the court. Standing at seven foot four, Kumaji is the tallest student athlete in school history. As the Seminole starting center, he plays a vital role with his innate ability to grab rebounds and block shots with authority. Oh, he's a very important part of our team, and he's uh, given us what we need. Sometimes it's rebounds, sometimes it's block shots, sometimes it's just energy and, and uh, communication with his teammates. During his time in Tallahassee, the senior has been part of a consistent four-year rise, lifting the program quite literally to new heights. No matter what's going on, you know, my role is just to like, you know, be a leader to, you know, to this team, help, help uh, the young guys, talk to them and stuff like that. Despite his current success, things haven't always been easy for Kumaji. Born and raised in Injamina, Chad, the big man didn't pick up a basketball until the age of 15. Growing up in like a third world country, you don't get all the things that kids get here. Like, you know, we grew up like differently and you just learn to like appreciate and be more grateful for everything that you have. He told me it was rough. You know, he had a lot going on. Um, he went from house to house, from his uncle to his grandmother, uh, his mom, his dad. So he was always traveling, you know, going up and down that country. It wasn't until Kamaji moved to the United States in 2013 and enrolled in Montverde Academy that he began to develop his game. So coming out of there, kind of helped uh, elevate his development and, uh, and give him a base to know how hard he was going to have to work when he got to college. Throughout his freshman season, the big man displayed glimpses of his potential despite weighing only 220 pounds. For this reason, Kumaji placed a relentless focus on physical improvement. Now the Seminole starting center stands at a solid 270 pounds, and the results have spoken for themselves. Chris has been a guy that's been the guy that's hungry his whole career to, to improve and to become uh, the best basketball player he can be. All of what, from what he's been through, just you know, from his childhood all the way up to now, just you know, forming him to what it, you know, having that uh, dog type, uh, you know, mentality, just going to the games and giving it all he's got. As the Garnet and Gold head into the season stretch run, Kamaji looks to provide a powerful spark for his team. Chris has never been the guy that's kind of been in a lead role until now, and uh, when he really plays with great passion and enthusiasm and energy, it really inspires our guys. Hoping for another deep tourney run in March, the Knowles will need the experienced veteran to take advantage of his tremendous size and stretch. The goal is definitely winning the national championship. When it's all said and done, Kumaji's legacy will not be defined by Florida State's final result, but instead on the gigantic impact he's already made on the program. Touting a relentless work ethic and unique athleticism, the sky is truly the limit for this big man. I'm Blake Devine for The Leonard Hamilton Show.